Howdy Harpers, it's uh, Jerry, still here in Peru, and I have five snakes to show you today. Uh, I thought about splitting them up, but I thought, you know what, I'll just do it all in a medley, and uh, I'll show you kind of a, a brief overview of some of the snakes that we found in the last couple of days. So to begin, uh, I have a rainbow boa, a Picardy centria, that I uh, found on the trail the other day. This is just a juvenile. If you're one of those people that thinks size matters, I encourage you to go check out my dry mark on video. <laughs> For the rest of us, check this little beauty out. So this is uh, would be a juvenile rainbow boa. You can see the really, really pretty, pretty snakes. In the light, uh, in the right lighting, these snakes have an amazing iridescence about them. You can see these ellipses all the way down its body just just a really cool collection of pinks and reds and blacks and browns and of course the camera is not going to do this snake any justice but I assure you it really is a a really cool animal and uh, yeah I just found him about eight o'clock on the trail and uh, they're not uncommon in this area but um, I tell, I tell people they're going to be as common as flies, but if I don't see one, then it doesn't mean anything to me. So, But that's the rainbow boa. They get much bigger than this, uh, topping out at around 2 meters, be a pretty big one. And um, of course eat rodents and, and, and frogs. We see a lot of rats and opossums here, and I wouldn't be surprised if that makes up a large part of the larger constrictors diets, like the rainbow boas and the boa constrictors and the um, oh, um, some of the other other snakes that are around. But anyway, that's the first one that I wanted to show you. I was pretty excited about that one. The next one is Syphilophus. Venus, and I do not have, I don't know the common name of this snake actually. This snake was found about a meter and a half off the ground last night on a tree buttress. Really nice snake with, uh, if you look closely, it's not quite as crazy as it looks. There are yellow on the sides underneath the black, and then there's an orange vertical stripe that goes down the entire length of the snake and then these these sort of chaotic black bands that go go around it but this is Syphlophus genus and you can see those black bands go all the way all the way around it and this belly really really cool snake nocturnal snake found this one about 8 30 9 o'clock last night the rainbow bow was actually found two nights ago this one was found last night and uh, pretty cool snake we hadn't seen this one yet um, so it's pretty cool that is the focus right moving along in our medley of Peruvian rainforest snakes to one that I've been looking for quite hard. We did find Dipsis indica the first night here at Reserva Amazonica at this lodge and it got out of the bag. The next day we went to look for it and it was gone. This is the other species of the same genus Dipsis. This is Dipsis catesbi. These are the snail eating snakes. Uh, you might know them as the thirst snake. Um, but these snakes have a uh, a really cool characteristic and then that snails are part of their diet snails and slugs as well as lizards and, and things like that but they actually just sort of extend their lower jaw into a snail they grab the foot of the snail and then their jaws go in and they can pull that snail out to eat it and this is a, just a really really pretty snake black circles outlined in white on a brown body just I really really think this is a pretty snake and uh, another interesting characteristic about this snake is that the mid, the vertebral scale is enlarged. 
So the scales on the side are what you would think of normally as a snake, and then the scale in the very middle is actually larger. Right, so that's Dipsis catesby. And...